Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon open topped office tank and tonight we're just going to do a simple before and after water change. Uh, I did want to point out while we've still got the opportunity that if you look very closely you can see my clown pleco in the back. If you see that sort of lightly colored spot sticking out behind the uh, heater back there, that is the head of the clown pleco and he's lying on top of one of the leaves of that anubius so the clown pleco is still in there uh, alive and well i see it on a fairly regular basis but it's only in little brief glimpses as it's darting and dashing away uh, as i walk into the room so we seldom get to see that on video but there you go there's some video evidence that it is uh, indeed still alive so what we're going to do today is wipe the glass down we're going to do a water change uh, I'm not going to top it off beforehand. I'm just going to pull a few gallons of water out. We're going to put a few gallons of water back in. We're obviously going to put more water in than we take out because we're going to fill it all the way back up. I will change the filter. I'm going to pull all of these branches and stuff. You can see this is all just sticking out and hanging out of the filter. And the main body of my temple plant up here is just sort of falling over. It's trying to grow back towards the light and it's just kind of looking rough in general. I really do like the root system in the water. I know the fish like swimming around in the root system in the water, so we're going to do our best to leave that alone. But when it comes to plants, uh, just like an aquarium, you can't remove a whole bunch of fish and then expect nothing to change. And the same way uh, with the plant. If I cut a whole lot of the branches and stuff off of that and just leave it as a stump sticking up out of the water, uh, that, that, that root system is going to go through some shock and I'm going to wind up having dead roots in the tank so I'm going to have to prune it fairly carefully I've already trimmed it back some uh, on the last water change so today we're going to trim it back a little harder and I will probably also get in there and trim some of the roots back to compensate for some of the foliage that I'm going to remove that's always a good idea uh, if you're going to be pretty heavy-handed with removing the foliage to get in there and trim up the root system a little bit as well so that's the Goal for today, I will save a little bit of the water from uh, what's in the tank right now, and we will do a comparison of the nitrate both before and after, and we'll see what kind of uh, nitrate level this uh, German Blue Ram has been sitting in. My regular viewers will know that I've been kind of following along to find out how well this Ram does under you know normal real-world tank conditions rather than you know, fussing around the tank constantly trying to keep the nitrate below 10 parts per million and all the other stuff I've always heard about it. So I'm guessing the nitrate's going to show up between 40 and 60 parts per million in the tank right now. And then after the water change, we'll probably get it down below 40 parts per million, but it's still probably going to be a fairly uh, orange test if we do the API vial test. So anyway, there's a good look at your before. And there's your after. So it made a big difference in the way the tank looks. We've got tons more light coming in through the top. And that is because I really did just butcher that temple plant. I'm getting kind of tired of looking at it. It keeps falling over. It's just getting to be kind of a hassle. And after a while, it's always nice to sort of change things up anyway. And as much as I've enjoyed that, uh, I did start cutting some of the roots out, but then I decided I don't know which roots should come out and which roots shouldn't. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. And if I start noticing any sections of roots dying off, I'm going to go ahead and get in there and we'll trim them out. But, I mean, you can see I've got roots that trail all the way down here. This was all the way down to the end. This one trails all the way around. If we look at this one up here, it floats and curls back around up towards the front of the tank. So I've got a lot of really interesting stuff going on with those roots. And so I'm going to leave them alone. Plus the uh, fish nibble on all the little uh, rootlets that develop, all the little teeny tiny uh, tips that develop on the roots. The fish seem to enjoy nibbling on those. So uh, it's a good natural food source for the fish too. So I pulled less than five gallons of water out of the tank, but that took it all the way down to about two inches of water left. I really did a massive water change. We got the glass wiped down. I put a new filter pad in. And while I did take all those other uh, rooted pieces out, we've got this piece left over. That was obviously the, 
main chunk I cut off right there. So all of the individual little branches are now downstairs in my grow out tank or one of my grow out tanks. I've got all of the rooted pieces that were in here are downstairs in my grow out tank. So I've got plenty of temple plant. If anybody's interested in purchasing some temple plant, you can check out my email down below, contact me and we will make arrangements. Um, I'll probably have to ship it in a medium sized box being as large as it is, but again, contact me and we can make arrangements on whether or not you want to get any of that temple plant and I can throw in some other stuff, a little bit of Java and some water Sprite and stuff like that, that I always have lying around. So last but not least is the nitrate and it's kind of hard to tell now because nitrates, uh, the API nitrate test kit seems to function a little differently than it used to. Uh, you used to be able to get the result and it would just sort of stay color fast. And you didn't, you could check it the next day and the color was the same color. Now I will say that it's much easier to do the test because the second vial is much more easy to shake up and you're not going to be as likely to get a bad test result from not properly shaking the second vial. However, the test now has to be read like right at that five minute mark. The color just keeps on going and keeps changing. And when we started this video, these were two very distinct colors. The one on the right was like a pale uh, orange and the one here, the left, this was there before, was pretty much red the way it is now. So this one's turning sort of a reddish brown color. I don't know if that's fully developing, but I mean, from the size of the water change I did, it looks like there's no change whatsoever in the nitrate. Uh, I did take a dip test just to sort of correlate and get a second opinion. And the dip test shows it sitting right around yeah, 30 to 40 parts per million. It seemed a little bit uh, on the pale side for 40 parts per million. So that's about where I expected it. After the water change, we got it down to that 30 to 40 parts per million like I was expecting it to. And so that's about right where we're sitting. So as I keep saying, this... Uh, German Blue Ram is going to stay in this tank under normal conditions. I'm not going to deliberately subject it to extra high nitrate or anything like that. But I'm also not going to do anything super special to keep this fish. I'm just going to keep it in a tank the way I normally do. I've got this tank running a little warmer than I normally do. And because of that, I've got an air stone in there. Uh, a little bit of redundancy. I've got two... Uh, heaters and I've got a power head in case my filter clogs up or something like that I'll always have a little bit of water flow and circulation in this tank um, but as far as the tank maintenance I'm not doing two water changes a week or three water changes a week I treat this tank just like every other tank it gets a water change whenever I feel like getting around to it I try not to let it get out of hand and we're going to see how things go so far so good so thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget I accept super thanks. I've got memberships available now and I have another channel where I do outdoors types videos and you can find a link to that down below as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon in the next one.